they look like getting ready for the draft? Yeah, definitely uh, what I was expecting, a uh, long process. Uh, just trying to take it day by day and enjoy the process, you know, because you only go through it once. But really just soaking it all in and taking it day by day. Is it stressful at all, just like just waiting game? Yeah, yeah, I say that's the most stressful thing, just waiting the anticipation. Uh, like even today, like, I'm just bad with that. I'm like, <laughs> I don't like just get, get going, get into it. But yeah, just waiting, sitting around, especially at the combine. Uh, yeah, it's definitely, it's, it's, it can be frustrating, but you try not to let it get to you. What do you think you accomplished in Indy? Oh uh, yeah, I think I showed, uh, you know, some of my athleticism. And I think I showed that here today too. But really in Indy, main focus is getting all the drills out the way, the 40, the vertical, the broad getting all that out the way and just coming here to focus on my own line drills. We couldn't see what you were doing out there. Could you explain <laughs> what you went through and, and how it went for you? Yeah, uh, just really just working on outside zone, uh, running off the ball and working pass sets, uh, working pulling. And really just, uh, they just want to see how I move. Uh, and I felt I did good. I uh, had one mess up on the twist drill, but I was guessing that was my bad. But uh, besides that, I think I did really good. Do NFL teams want you more at center or at guard? Yeah, it's, uh, I haven't really got a clear explanation of where they want me because everybody's been asking where I feel comfortable. But when it comes down to it, wherever they want me, that's where I'm going to go. Where do you feel the most comfortable? Me, personally, I believe center. But uh, if they need me at guard, I'm going to step right in. Can you set any plans for what you're going to do for the draft and how you're going to watch them and see what you're Yeah, I don't have no plans right now. <laughs> but me, I'm a, I'm a chill guy. So probably just going to be at my brother's house. Uh, watching it with the fam, my close friends. Like you you said, said, who have you heard from so far? Who kind of showed some interest in you most? Yeah, definitely uh, the Dolphins, the Niners, uh, talked to the Steelers or some, uh, the Panthers, uh, and I believe the Giants and the Bears. Those those guys really showed a lot of interest. How was How? your interactions with the Steelers been? Yeah, no, it's been good. Uh, I talked to them at the Combine, and the uh, assistant online coach was actually working on the drills at the Combine. So it's been really good. Uh, definitely getting a good relationship with them. Juice, what's it like kind of wrapping your head around all of this? Because I'm sure you've dreamed of playing in the NFL since you were a kid. Now you're telling us about meeting yeah. with these teams. What's it all been like? Yeah, it's definitely been a dream to a reality. Uh, just to even think about where I am now to where I was, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. I give all things to God. And it's just, uh, like you said, dreams to reality. Uh, just trying to, you know, not to get starstruck, really, because, you know, you sit down with teams that you watch on TV, and you're just, like, trying to stay chill for real and just not trying to show no emotion. But at the same time, just super happy. You spent a lot of time as the number one guy at center for Penn State. Uh, do you have any insight on the future position? James talked about Hunter's possible replacement. Yeah, no, I'm definitely excited to see who takes over. Uh, I know Hunter is a... Uh, going to uh, be working at center. I know Nick Dawkins is there. And I'm just excited to see who wins that spot. And I'm excited to watch these guys, all of them in general, uh, going forward this season. Talking to them at all? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Making sure them guys is ready. They already know what to expect, so I ain't got to tell them that much. But, you know, just give them any pointers I see, especially when I come out here for practice. You, you said last year that being that vocal leader wasn't natural to you, but mm -hmm. you got there. What did that year as a team captain do for you moving to the NFL? Yeah, it definitely helped me. Uh, I definitely needed to come back another year, get that under my belt. And I just feel going into the league now, I know like how to lead guys, especially uh, just guys like my age, not even just young guys, just guys my age. And going into the league now, I know like what to expect from leaders and like see how they how they move and just I'm just ready to learn when I get to the next level to be honest. So a big theme throughout your time at Penn State was going through what you went through and then becoming a starter. Um mm -hmm. now that you're on the verge of being an NFL player, um just how I guess surreal, like whatever the word is, is yeah. it that like you you almost lost everything and now you're so close to being an NFL football player. Nah, it is definitely surreal. That's <laughs> the perfect word for it. Uh I just gotta give all credit to God. Uh, without him, I'm not here. And my family, they sacrificed a lot for me to be here. And Penn State, man, they gave me the opportunity. They had my back through it all. So without all of them, I wouldn't be here. Hey, Juice, this interview process is really teams getting to know you. What kind mm -hmm. of players a team gonna draft in April, with, you know, person-wise, but also on the field? Yeah, no, they're gonna get a guy that's gonna come in and work. Uh, every day, each and every day, I'm gonna come in and work my ass off, sorry. <laughs> but I'm gonna come in and just, just do what I can do to help the team win. And that's all that matters to me. And that's all that should matter to the organization is winning. And no matter how you get it done, as long as you get it done. During the interview process, anybody ever ask you about Sean? Yeah, definitely. definitely. Okay, what do they uh, want to know? And then what's your letter of recommendation? Yeah, they just want to know, like, what type of player he is, how is he off the field. And me, every time, draft him. Uh, that's a guy that you should not pass up on. 
And whoever gets him is getting a steal because that guy works day in, day out, and he doesn't he doesn't complain, doesn't do none of that. He comes in, works, and he makes sure that everybody else is good too. So he's just a leader at Who'd heart. Who you tell that to? Uh, tell that to every team that asks, to be honest with you. How many asked? Uh, a couple, a couple, a couple, yeah. What are scouts telling you that they like about your game? Uh, just my physicality, uh, just coming off the ball, finishing people. And uh, I, I got a lot of advice on what I should be working on, just with my hand speed and my and my foot speed. And I just been trying to work on that, and that's what I came out here to show today. And how do you feel you did today? Yeah, I feel I did really good. Uh, I felt good. Uh, it went by really fast. I was expecting to do more, but I felt it was really good, and I felt I showed him what I needed to. We saw Landon for a portion of the season last year, but we didn't see firsthand his recovery process. You said Landon? Yeah. Okay, my bad. My yeah, bad. we didn't see his recovery process firsthand mm -hmm. after the injury. Um, how did that go, and what should we be expecting? Yeah, sure. I, I should be expecting big things from him, for sure. Uh, he was doing a hell of a job before he got injured, and then he went down, and Hunter came in and replaced him, and we, we continued on. But I'm expecting big things from him. He's coming back from injury, and I believe uh, he's back now. So, he's back. Yeah, Nick yeah. is back. Yep. I don't so think you get in trouble anymore. I know you're <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, OK, OK. I'm making sure. And uh, so I'm just excited. I'm going to come here tomorrow to check those guys out, see what they're talking about. Has so anyone asked you about Olu? Oh. In the process? <laughs> yeah, everybody. Everybody? Everybody. What do they want to know about him? Uh, just what type of guy he is, you know, is he what the hype is about. And I tell him every time it's real. Like, <laughs> it's not hype, it's, it's real. And he's just Olu. I'm excited for him, his future. Yeah, sky's the limit, though, for sure. Have you heard from anybody about when they'd like to pick you up? I haven't. I haven't. My my prediction for me is two to second. I'm in second to third. My bad. <laughs> second to third. But right now I've been seeing a lot of fifth, sixth. So it don't really matter as long as I get my foot in the door. I saw you talking to some uh, commander scouts. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, after your warm up, did you get any kind of feedback from your warm up today from them and any other scouts over here? No. They, they, yeah. They just said good job, and they were really just uh, asking me like how I'm doing mm -hmm. and just catching up. And uh, I was we were talking about Jahan with the commander. Oh, yeah. That's my that's my guy. But uh, yeah, they were really just saying good job and uh, glad to see him. Awesome. I know a guy that you talked about toward the end of last season was Venga, and mm -hmm. now we're hearing he's going to be in the mix of center. You gave us a sneak on that, but what, what do you think about his package here in year two? What kind of a force can he be already? A dominant force. Uh, just seeing him, uh, I saw him what practice is that? last Saturday. I saw him, and to say that he's 340-ish, whatever he is, it's unreal because yeah. he doesn't <laughs> look like it. And he holds he he it well, so I'm just excited to see that guy work, man. I know. You know, he's uh, he's being patient, you know, because he got a whole bunch of guys in front of him. But when his time comes, I'm expecting big things, for sure. I know you mentioned the waiting game mm -hmm. being a challenging part, but other than that, what's been the most challenging part of the process so far? <sighs> most challenging part? It really hasn't, I wouldn't say a challenge, but I'd say at the combine, just the orthopedics, like going through all the medicals. Mm -hmm. It's not a challenge itself, but it's just, like, it's just a long process, and you just got to get through it. But other than that, I've been loving the process besides that. Thanks, Juice. 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 Thanks, Juice.